everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Sagittarius is inside of their mind reading for mid-July. In this message, Sagittarius, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you and your person and seeing what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. In this portion of the message, we'll look at what their perception of you is, what their perception of the challenges. Anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of and their true intentions moving forward. We'll pull a few cards for the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Sagittarius, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What do my Sagittarian friends need to know? first thing that comes to my mind is a divorce. Now this could just be a separation, but the reason why I get the divorce is because the justice is in your energy. It's almost as if there's a legal proceeding that is needing to be completed in order for you to move forward. I do feel an energy of finally being done or feeling satisfied that this is finally over. We're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. The energy surrounding your person is the five of pentacles, the five of wands. I feel like this person is still willing to fight for this connection. Even if they may have distanced themselves from you, um, the underlying energy here is still wanting to make this work. Almost as if you abandoned them, as if you left. And the Five of Pentacles, guys, a lot of times will be affiliated with unfinished business. Now, the challenge, the challenge. I feel like you're closed off from a new beginning with this person here, Sagittarius. It's like you're done and over and this is finally complete. This cycle is finally completed and you're glad that this is over is the energy that I'm getting here from this message, but we're going to clarify this. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here by clarifying the justice, the nine of cups and the world energy for Sagittarius. What do my Sagittarian friends need to know in regards to the justice, the nine of cups and the world energy? Page of Cups. It's like you're open to keeping things on a friend's basis. Some of you might be. Others of you, I feel like you're closed off completely to hearing this apology. One second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. That was my kid. So, let's clarify your person's energy. This Five of Pentacles, this Eight of Pentacles, and Five of Wands. It's almost as this per this person is feeling this loss. The Five of Wands is um, competition, so they're willing to fight for this. Um, clarify the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands for Sagittarius's person, please, and thank you, Spirit. I definitely feel like your person here feels like this is a faded connection. I don't feel like they're walking away anytime soon. This is definitely an energy of wanting to make this work. Even if they're not telling you that right now, their underlying intention here, Sagittarius, is to try to make this work. 
So, Emperor, Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So you see, Sagittarius, the Page of Pentacles is coming out in your person's energy. This is also part of the challenge, okay? The challenge here, from what I can see, is this isn't a very stable connection, okay? There's a lot of back and forth, a lot of tit for tat, um, a lot of inflicting pain from both sides, almost as if, like, Sagittarius, if you do something, your person, like, one-ups the situation or tries to get even, tries to get back, something along those lines. Part of the challenge is there was, at one point, a lot of happy memories here. You and this person, at one point, had a very blissful connection. But I just feel, Sagittarius, when things are good, they're really good. And when things are bad, they're hell. And it's not something that anybody should be having to engage. So let's dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. Again, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here by looking at your person's perception of you, Sagittarius, in this energy. What do my Sagittarian friends need to know about Sagittarius's person's perception of Sagittarius? Please and thank you, Spirit. I feel like this person does want to talk. But right now, you guys are at each other's throats. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of back and forth with the Knight of Swords. This is like a battle. I also feel here, Sagittarius, that this is an energy of trying to keep the peace. And so maybe they... It's almost as if this person complains a lot, but they don't really follow through. And this is becoming very burdensome. Like it causes you guys to have a lot of hurt feelings towards one another when that takes place. Let's look at what this person's perception of the challenge is here. Sagittarius and this energy, please and thank you. Sagittarius, this person's perception of the challenge. What do my Sagittarian friends need to know? Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck, the Devil with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. No matter how toxic the situation gets, they still want to make this work. Eight of Pentacles, Hierophant. Some of you, this is a marriage, okay? We have a lot of legality cards coming out. for So for some of you, this is a marriage. And they're willing to make this work no matter what. Willing to make sacrifices. Compromise on whatever it is that you want them to compromise on, basically. Open relationship, all of those types of things. For those of you that that's pertaining to, I'm all I'm simply saying is this person is willing to do whatever it takes to make this work. So what's hidden? What's hidden here for Sagittarius in this energy? Okay. The Page of Swords, the Magician, the World the ace of wands this cycle has already been complete i feel like the lesson has been learned here between you and this person no matter if this person is still holding on to this connection no matter if you are still holding on to this connection i also feel like most likely sagittarius this is you having multiple options or or exploring your options already something along those lines but I feel like it's because you feel like you've already closed out this chapter. You see what I mean? So what is this person's true intentions moving forward? There you go. This person is waiting to see, trying to change their perspective on relationships, trying to change their perspective on this situation with you. 
I do feel at this time, Sagittarius, you are withholding your energy from this person. It's almost as if maybe you've walked away already. But this person is open and willing to make this work. From what I can see. And it's like Sagittarius... They're waiting to see what your next move is going to be. It's most likely something that you guys have gone through before where you've walked away and come back. And so they're waiting for you to come back. Mm, your tail between your legs. But I honestly feel for most of you, this person isn't saying this. They're not saying that the door is still open. They're most likely telling you that this is over. So let's get the outcome if you stay in this energy here for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. What is the outcome here? Okay. I know the cross watcher isn't going to like to hear this, but I feel here, Sagittarius, that you have already moved on and the energy of you have already moved on. You, some of you have, may have already started something new. That's where that um, exploring your options is coming from. There may have already been a, a new person that you have connected with that feels more stable, feels better, uh, like you can be yourself. I definitely feel like you're freeing yourself from this heavy energy. And I don't feel like your person is going to be too happy about this. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies, the other influences, see what comes out there. We'll look at can this be saved? Is it worth it? The lesson that's present and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. So the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the Four of Swords with the Seven of Cups. So Sagittarius, the advice guidance moving forward is an energy of needing to heal, needing to come to an, a conclusion, make a decision, maybe even making a plan, getting getting clear on what you want your five-term, five-year, long-term goal to be. That way you know how you can see what steps you need to take to get to that outcome. I definitely feel here there's a little bit of confusion still, a little bit of uncertainty if this is the right decision. So make sure that you're getting clear on that decision. And, and the best way to do this, Sagittarius, is getting clear on what that long-term goal is so you can see which person is in better alignment with that long-term goal. I definitely feel like the main message coming out here is getting clear, clarity. Clarity is going to be key for this month for you, Sagittarius. Pull a Vintage Oracle, sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. Shadow Self. This is similar to Devil Energy. Release and strength. So I definitely feel like there is a need to release the situation, release the connection. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like this new person is going to be in better alignment with your future. But you need to get clear on that within yourself. So Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.